All right there, guys and gals. We're here back at the New York State Office Building at 207 Genesee Street in the lovely city of Utica. It is the 21st of November, 2023. Uh, we're gonna go in here. Uh, this will be our third visit here. Um, we still haven't got in. Um, Dan from Erie County just got in uh, a couple weeks ago. We're looking to do the same thing Dan did and uh, not be harassed. We're just here looking to film in the public accessible areas of this building and not be harassed or threatened by any employees. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey, so, so I'm looking to move throughout the building in the uh, accessible areas of the building. And I don't wish to give up my Fourth Amendment right to uh, my ID either. I understand. I know you do. <laughs> and I don't want to be touched this time either when I'm coming through. I can do Or threatened with a dog. I can't stop that. Or, or anything like, uh, of that matter. I would just like to move around the building and not be harassed and not be touched by any state employees. Yes, the gentleman with the uh, Fourth Amendment issue is in the building. Wants no one to touch him. Wants no attacks by employees or dogs. I would like to move throughout the building freely. And he wants to move freely throughout the building. In the publicly accessible areas, that's all. Tell him that. Okay, no problem. What's up, buddy? Thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Good. Awesome. So what did you come up with? Um, someone will be up to speak with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's uh, Franklin, I believe. Like that. Could have been. Did you want How's it going, man? Good. Good. What's going on? I'm just looking to move throughout the building and yeah, rec uh, Okay, so I want to put you on notice. Dan from Erie County was just in here and he did the exact same thing. He did not use ID. This is going to fall back on a 14th Amendment violation that says that we're all that we're all created equal. That's fine. Here's the legal team. If you're issued, you can contact them. Let them know you're complete from Albany. So why did Dan get to move through the building and I can't? Are you discriminating against me because of what happened here with you before? Huh? It seems like it does because you let you let Dan move throughout the building freely. He didn't he didn't give up his ID. So anybody above you that I can talk to? Dan has nothing to do with you. It's a separate, separate issue. Oh, so this is just me? No. You need an ID to enter the building. Dan didn't need an ID to enter the building. Is she, is she here today? The door's closed. We've got a call if you want to under. I'll, I'll knock. Hello. So my name is Rich. Um, I was here before. You didn't allow me into the building uh, because I wouldn't give up my ID, my Fourth, or my fourth Amendment right. I would just. I want to do the same exact thing that Dan did when he came through here a couple weeks ago. You allotted him the situation where he did not give up his ID. He went through this building and he recorded in the public accessible areas. Yeah. So really quick, Dan was allowed to do it. I should be allowed to do it. If I can't, it's a 14th Amendment violation. I'm sure you're aware of what a 14th Amendment violation is. All right, thank you. Well, it's Franklin, right? Yes, yes, yes. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Good. The only, guy, good. the only guy that's been decent to me three times in a row. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Yeah, and I appreciate you, man, because you, was, yep. you, know, you told me some things. We talked. You know, How you been, man? Good. 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 Just hanging in there. You know what I'm That's all you can do, man. It's, yeah. get, it's getting cold out there. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the season. It is. Yeah. 
So guys, if they deny me access here today, it'll be a 14th Amendment violation. Um, Dan from Erie County uh, was able to do it. I'm in the exact same situation that Dan from Erie County is in. And if they don't allow me, that it's discrimination against me. And uh, I would encourage you to redress your government at that point. How you doing, sir? Not too bad. How are you? I'm doing good. So you're aware that Dan from Erie County was through here a couple weeks ago? Uh, Dan was also exercising his First Amendment right to move throughout the building and uh, just in the publicly accessible areas. Uh, he didn't give up his uh, Fourth Amendment right with this young lady in here. Uh, she allowed him to move throughout the building. Um, I just want to do the same. Just want to go into the publicly accessible areas. You show my ID and state your business inside the building. And so this is so, what we're given from OGS legal. So let me ask you this. Why, is, why was Dan allowed to do it three weeks ago and I can't do it today? Listen, I don't make the policy. We just enforce what they give us so this is what this is what ogs so it's because it's it's me then you let dan you uh, so listen i'm gonna put you on notice i wasn't even here two weeks ago she was she she let him she let him move throughout this building so it's a 14 month 14th amendment right violation that we're not all created equal here obviously you're discriminating against me for some reason i don't know if it's because of the interaction i had with this gentleman and the other two people that attacked me the first time i was here but you let Dan move throughout the building freely. You should be able to let me move throughout the building freely too, without giving up my Fourth Amendment right. That's not that's not a that's not a precedent. So why this did is what so we're why given. did Dan get to move throughout this, this building and I can't? This is what we're given. From why wasn't Dan Lee given this? Why wasn't Dan given this? I started two weeks ago. I don't know why Dan wasn't given. It. Okay. So she gave it to him. So she was the one that didn't give it to him. So have her come out. I'm the building manager. She's not the building manager. Oh, okay. So this is the policy. Sure. Give them ID. So what's your name, sir? Mike Cooley. Mike Cooley? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I made contact with you. What's your we name, sir? Have public, this is a public space. Okay. Yeah. This is a public space. The lobby on the other side, other end, outside of security is a public space. We can't keep it. We can't keep you from doing anything in those spaces. Right. If you want to. If you want to do your business there, but this is the policy OGS has given us. So, what, so when was to... this policy given to you? What's the date on it? What's the date on the policy? So before three weeks ago when Dan came here? November 4th. November, November 4th. This is just what we got from so, OGS League. So same policy was in effect beforehand because you obviously didn't allow me to move throughout freely throughout the building when I was first here back in January. Same, same policy. But yet, Dan, no this is what, to in the this exact is, same is, situation that I'm doing right doing. now, I don't have this. Got to move throughout the building. Why is that? I, mean, I just. You can contact the legal team. Like there's the legal team forward. right there. And this is. Yeah. This is. You can. There's state your. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be. Your, I'll be. I'll be contacting them. You I'm can sure. do that. Yeah. Well. Feel free. Yeah. So meanwhile, I'm just going to hang out here for a few hours. So, I guess I'm hanging with her. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, there you have it, guys. Apparently, they're discriminating against me just because of who I am. Um, another auditor, which Dan from Erie County, Dan Warmus, y'all know him. Uh, Dan came through here. Uh, he did exactly what I just did, said he wasn't going to give up his Fourth Amendment right. And that young lady that came out of the uh, office there, she uh, uh, she decided that uh, she was going to let him move throughout this building freely. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, oh, you're good, man. We don't want to get that gentleman on that. So Dan got to move throughout this building, but apparently I can't. So obviously we're not all created equal, guys. Um, they're violating my rights, and they just don't give a shit. But I know you all give a shit, so if you all give a shit, then do something about it, guys, because this is foul behavior from state employees. Uh, that same policy was in, in effect in January when I was here, when Jimmy over here assaulted me and Mike assaulted me. They brought a dog down. I mean, come on. The thing about it is, they know who I am. If I walked in here with no show, show no idea, they know who I am. 
I got video of the police in that office right there talking to a woman. And she knew that I had just been to the prison and done an audit up there. So they knew who I was. They had, they had, they had, all, they had all the information in the world. They knew who I was. And they still didn't allow me to move throughout the building. Turn this shit on today. So guys, this is the uh, piece of paper they gave me. I suggest that uh, we redress our government. Mike, Mike, how's it going? Bring a mace today. Ma'am, ma'am, so is there a reason why Dan was allowed in here without ID and why I'm not? I mean, because it seems like that's a 14th Amendment violation because we are all created equal and it doesn't feel like I'm being treated equally right now if you let him in a couple weeks ago and you won't let me in today. So I was here in January. I don't know if you'd watch that video or not, but that gentleman attacked me. The other guy that pushed in the cart attacked me, and some lady kicked me and attacked me over here. I wasn't allowed in the building that day. This was as far as I was allowed to go. I could have had three of your employees arrested, but I just put complaints in them again instead. Your, your counsel had the nerve to call me and shame me for being here and doing what I was doing in the first place. So I was not allowed in the building, okay? So at that point, that was your policy was in effect in January, obviously, because I wasn't allowed in without giving up my Fourth Amendment right for... And But you guys allowed Dan a month ago to come in here and do exactly what I wanted to do in January, and now I'm back here three weeks later trying to do the same thing that Dan did under the same exact situation, and y'all won't let me... Y'all won't let me in. It, it seems like you're maybe... You're, you're, you're doing this because of, I don't know, because I'm a man maybe, or because, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, you know? I don't have any hair, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know why you guys are discriminating against me, you know what I mean? 
I, I do think it is because for one, I'm telling you that it is. I feel discriminated against because you let Dan in here under the exact same situation that I'm in right now and you won't let me in. So yeah, I'm feeling discriminated against. I'm letting you know that I'm feeling discriminated against. Yeah, and he's telling me that they had got a policy two weeks ago. I don't know. He got a memo two weeks ago because of what happened with Dan. Sounds about right, right? And, and, and it sounds about right. He got a memo about Dan, and now they're enforcing that policy, again, which they should have been enforcing in the first place, right? Because obviously they kept me out in January. So I'm, I'm letting you know that I'm feeling discriminated against. And I don't know why. I, I think it may be because, yeah, I think it may be because of our first interaction and with these gentlemen that attacked me. I think that may play something into, uh, huh? You don't think so? No? Oh yeah, Mike, Mike knows, knows who I am. Jimmy, Jimmy knows who I am. Uh, that woman who came out of the bathroom, she knows who I am. Don't engage with them. She's being told not to engage with me, I'm sure. Hey, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to him. Excuse me. Yeah. This one don't work? Yeah, shake your head. like our public employees uh, like to hang out in the gift shop. Ma'am, do you know what the policy on bringing in a uh, mace into the building would be? Says you're not allowed there on the doors. Says you're not allowed, right? Does that mean employees too, right? I have no control over what people have in their personal possessions, sir. No, no, I'm just, I just wondered if you knew what the policy was, that's all. Stated on the doors. Yep. Uh, you should go ahead because I got to dig this out and then find my card. So I want to get a copy of this, bro. It's public information. Thank you. Not... What's that? Here, That's public information right there. Sure. I was just looking to get a copy of it. That's all. Oh. Ma'am, do you know if there's anybody in the building I can do a public records request with? No, I don't know. No? Because, I mean, any state worker is supposed to be able to take my request upon request. No? That's not you? I don't do online. I'm here. I want to do it in person so I get a, a, a paper copy. Letitia James's office is on the fifth floor. She's they won't allow me to go upstairs. They want me to give up all my information to be able to move freely about the building. Oh, I'm not willing to do it. I'm not willing to give my ID now. Oh, all right. Yeah. Even though three weeks, th even though three weeks ago, they just let somebody come in here and do it. Yeah, three weeks ago, they let a guy come in here and do the exact same thing that I'm doing under the exact same situation. And he was able to move freely throughout the building without giving up his idea. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you. And now today, for some reason, they're violating the 14th Amendment, which says we're all created equal. And they're not letting me in. And they let him in. I don't understand it. Maybe because I'm bald. I don't know. I don't, I don't, get, I don't get it. Sounds like a... 
we were both guys. We both got beards, so it's not that. I, no, it's not. It's not political. It's uh, it's constitutional. I'm working on a story, and I would just, I have First Amendment rights to say that I'm, I'm. I'm not. I'm not part of a paper. Um, I have my own uh, publication. It's Mr. Nice Guy Activism, and most of the time, I'm out there advocating for the homeless. But I also believe highly in our rights. That if we don't use our rights, we lose our rights. So what do you want? I want to be able to I want to be able to come in this building. I want to be able to record freely without being touched this time in this lobby right here. In this lobby for recording and I did and freely. That's all. So all I want to do is there's a lobby inside this DMV office here. I want to be able to go in there. I want to be able to do my recording and I want to be able to leave. I don't know. I don't even know who to write to about that. But look it up. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a life. Yeah. I would, uh, I'd look it up. You too there, old state worker. Have a life. Wow. What the? Nice activism? Yeah, activism, yes. Activism? Wow. YouTube? Yes. The, right. the professionalism from this place just is right. crazy. Uh, UticaPhoenix.net. UticaPhoenix.net. And your name? Just, just, your first, just your first name. It's nice to meet you, Rich. All right. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Good, I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Good. It's still cold out there. So. It's it's nasty out there. Yeah, it really is. It was worse the wind. Oh yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Get a life. I like it. Hey, do you know if there, you know if there's anybody in this building that can do a public records request? Take a public records request for, from me. Take a public records. Yeah, anybody's supposed to be able to. So under New York State law, it says that any employee of the building can take a re public records request, and it's up to you guys to get it to the department that I'm asking for, right? I know you're not. Are you? Well, no, I don't. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not so anybody, guys. any one of these state employees could come do it, but for some reason, I got to wait for a guy in a meeting. Why am I waiting for a guy in a meeting when, any, when anybody can do this for me? Sir, I'm, I'm not with them guys. I'm right. just separate in the oh, okay. labor. All right. I'm the only guard in there, but I'll, I'll oh, ask So my boss. can I make a, a public records request for the Department of Labor then? I'll, I'll find out, yeah. yeah so they can get it, they can, they can get it to the, the, the place that I need it to go to. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, you. No problem. Yeah. I'll go find out for you. Yeah, just tell them I want to do a public records request for the Department of Labor. Somebody should be in there be able to take my request. Okay. Hello. Sir, do you, do you, do you work for the building? Excuse me? Do you work for the building? You work for the state? I need to do a public records request and nobody will take it for me. Any state employee can take that for me. So if you're a state employee, I'm asking you to take a public records request for me. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's probably who you're waiting for because they're all in a meeting. They're all in a meeting? Yeah, well, yeah. you said the stores are done so well tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. See, that's how we treat good and public employees right there. We treat them with respect and kindness.
people that put their hands on us and uh, try to stifle our rights. We're not, we're not respectful of those kind of people. Uh, Franklin, the guard from the uh, first interaction that when we were here, um, just came by and I uh, asked him if he could call up to the Attorney General's office. I want to do a, 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 a public records request. And any one of these state employees should be able to take that public records request. So this lady's really unable to help us here. She's unwilling to help us. I asked her if she could call up to the Attorney General's office to have them either come down and get me or take my public records request. And she says it is not her job. It's not her job to pick up the phone and call somebody when somebody needs help. We'll have to definitely ask her boss if that's her job or not. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Officer Dan. Officer Dan? Dan. Okay. Well, you're with Allied? Yeah, of course. All right, guys and gals, we got another stop here today to make across the street, and uh, we're going to come back here and make our public records request after, and we're going to... So, guys, remember, if you don't like the despicable behavior here, you, you can always redress your government, folks. And uh, you all know how to do that, and uh, I would just say that if you're going to do that, to be kind, to be respectful, don't make threats, don't make any kind of uh, anything that's going to make uh, yourself or me look bad. Uh, and never call on my behalf because I never condone you calling on my behalf.